Alrighty ho, Reject Nation. I'm Greg Alba. And I'm John. We're gonna watch today the trailer for Dumbo. It's just a Disney week. Isn't that exciting? Have a Disney day. Before we go into this, I wanted to say thank you to everyone who's been following us on the Stardust app. Yo, over there we do 30 second reactions for films, TV shows, and trailers. A lot of them are micro sketches, mini reviews. It's a blasty blast. It's free to download. It's free to use. So I hope you're Dumbo Boaz follows us first. Hear that, children? Ah, uh, you shouldn't be watching the internet this late at night. Let's get to it. It's like a swearing hack right there. Ha ha ha. By the way, watch how Ralph breaks the internet review. Okay. <laughs> uh -huh. That's neat. Welcome, baby Jumbo. Oh! <laughs> Look how cute it is. <laughs> no! <laughs> I love it. <laughs> oh, he's <it's> so adorable. <laughs> I'm sold. <laughs> <laughs> Colin Farrell. You have mystique. You have magic. Come with me. Dude, it's Batman and Penguin talking. Yeah, right. What's happening? Oh, Where are they taking her? Take Dumbo back inside. But she's his mom. Do something. She needs us. Look at me. We're gonna bring your mama home. <laughs> Thing is so cute. <laughs> <laughs> oh, buddy. All is lost. <laughs> <laughs> like that green. Green. I love that I bought him Carter's replacement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Adorable. I wasn't even really paying attention to the plot. <laughs> so that damn elephant showed up. I was like, <laughs> look how freaking cute that thing is, man. <laughs> oh yeah, it's adorable yeah. for sure. And that was that was one thing that I was mm -hmm. thinking having rewatched the trailer for the animated movie is like the teaser gave me kind of a melancholy vibe and this gave me a much more cute vibe. Yeah. <laughs> Other than the tone, it's not uh, super different uh, from what we got from the last trailer. I don't really remember the Dumbo <laughs> animated movie all that well. It looks but... like they've rearranged the story beats for sure. And it looks like, I mean, the map Mouse character doesn't look like it's in here at all. Yeah. It's been replaced by the children ostensibly, at least in terms of like the feather and then going gotcha. back and forth with that stuff. It looks like anyway. Oh, either way, man, I, I'm really looking forward to this. This kind of feels <laughs> like Tim Burton, not necessarily going back to like the, his roots of, you know, uh, you know, Beetlejuice or whatever, even though you do have Michael Keaton and Danny DeVito here, which immediately I'm like, it's Batman and Penguin. Yeah. Um, <laughs> what I think about is Big Fish. This really gets the Big Fish vibe. Mm -hmm. And I, I love that movie. I find that to be one of Tim Burton most underrated flicks and you know I, maybe because there is a whole section in that movie dedicated to the circus that's where I'm getting a lot of that aesthetic and flair from I heard something about Tim Burton and Disney having some type of weird falling out but you know they're doing Dumbo so I'm like <laughs> it doesn't make any logical sense to me why that would be occurring I yeah. don't know I mean the thing about this for me is I, I really like this trailer I like what we're getting out of it and I'm still at that point with Tim Burton where I don't know if this is just a good trailer because Tim Burton's movies can still cut good trailers and it's been a while since I've really felt the passion behind the camera from him especially in movies of this caliber hmm. with this much weight on their shoulders to recapture some of that classic magic and stuff like that and I feel like the circus and, and these kinds of aesthetics are well within Tim Burton's wheelhouse the thing I want to believe is that he can actually make a beautiful Dumbo movie and not just show up and point the camera because on a lot of these that's kind of how I felt with him lately, especially like Alice in Wonderland. I don't, and stuff like I that. don't get that impression 
here at all. You know, I, I don't know if Tim Burton has some type of magical, passionate flair for Dumbo. Like if this is like a childhood favorite of his or whatever. For some reason, just looking at this, there seems to be a real heart. There seems to be a real tale that he wants to tell here. I'm looking forward to the performances, man. It's like, for yeah. some reason, I rarely feel like I see Colin Farrell get to shine in a protagonist role these days. And if it is a protagonist, it's kind of like a dark haunted character. And from what I get, he's someone from the war, lost his arm, mm -hmm. and now he's doing this. But he, he looks like, you know, a, a really solid good guy here. And Michael Keaton reprising his role from the founder. It looks yeah. great. <laughs> you know, looks yeah. appropriately <laughs> snivelly showing up and trying to be and like, hey, Danny, come join me in the big show. Danny you know? DeVito reprising his role from Big Fish. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't put it past Tim Burton to connect this to Big Fish. Yeah. Same guy. Yeah. 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 I wouldn't be surprised if he like did something kind of extreme like that. Yeah. This is another one of Albert Finney's tall tales. I believe in the cartoon Dumbo talks. It doesn't look like he's talking here. It seems like they dialed back on the talking animal aspect, or I don't know if I'm going to show up to the theater and it, I'm going to be very surprised. If anything, I kind of get sort of those, you know, family vibe movies when it's about a dog like Marley and Me, where, you know, you got a lot of human characters, you got a lot of actors, but the core of it, the center of it, is this main animal. Uh, While well, you got a lot of good human emotion, a lot of good human characters in here, but the core is Dumbo. While there's, you know, imagery here and direct references that are to the animated movie, it doesn't feel like it's just another Disney movie where they've adapted straight up the cartoon. You know? Yeah, well, looking at it, I mean, I don't know what the order of events for this movie is, but it certainly looks as though they're dropping certain plot details earlier, or it's like the whole flying thing, I imagine, might come up earlier in this movie, and it looks like the reasoning for separating him and his mom is a little bit different, because in the cartoon, like, she's just upset that everyone's being a dick to Dumbo, and, like, they uh, think that she's going mad, and they put her in a crate, and they're like, ah, oh, you're, you're crazy, you know, you're yeah, rabid. Yeah. And this kind of just looked like, oh, they're just, they're just gonna separate them, I guess. I couldn't really tell, but yeah, it seems like at very least they're remixing some of the elements, and I wonder if the songs are gonna play in, because that was one of the big things they touted on the original movie was seven original songs. Right, right. And, you know, they've been remaking this wave of Disney classics, and some of them at least have, you know, bothered with the music, so I wonder uh. if that's gonna factor in in any way. Yeah, I mean, when you hear Tim Burton, Dumbo, I, I feel like you might even imagine something that's crazier and bigger than what the trailers currently have been showing us, because because for the most part, they feel a little bit restrained in what they're what they're communicating to us of what's going to go on in this. Like, it's all just at the circus, not really hopping around a lot. And even when they're showing us the circus stuff, it doesn't look like they're showing us a whole bunch of craziness that goes yeah. on. I'm kind of hoping, though, that the film does get a little bit more fantastical and more imaginative. Or, for all I know, this more subdued <laughs> version could be better. Yeah, It could. I mean, I'm curious as to what their overall goal with this is. Because, yeah, it does look a bit different. And even, like, looking at the pink elephants, it looks like they've given those an actual like explain you know they've they've brought yeah, them down yeah, to yeah. earth it's not like a drunken dream that they have anymore yeah yeah and, and so yeah I, I do wonder what pitch they're gonna go with because this trend for disney is interesting to me and it seems like some of them are like verbatim just translated to live action and this doesn't look like it's exactly going to do that which has me very curious yeah and for tim burton too i am curious about the scope that this exists on because yeah it looks kind of reminiscent of something more heartfelt and colorful like Big Fish and also not super flippin' huge like yeah. Alice in Wonderland where you're like, oh my god, my, my eyes hurt. <laughs> yeah. Either way, man, I, I feel like it'll probably be a, a tearjerker of a film and that that dang elephant is so darn cute. And Ava Green. Yeah, you know, you gotta find someone Most, who kind of looks like Helena Bonham Carter. Ava Green. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. Well, before we wrap this up, I want to give our patron of the day shout out to a man named James Stagans. James Stagans, I want to thank you, my Dumbo friend, because of the fact that you do have big ears and you're cute and adorable. I know I kind of feel like I'm always insulting you in these shoutouts, but I want to say you are one adorable looking kid man. Also, I appreciate you always looking out for us whenever there's a fire going on in LA. You seem to always hit us up and you know, want to make sure we're in, in safe hands. That is very kind of you. That's all state stand. And um, get a new job so you can increase your pledge on Patreon. Yeah. And then you can come out here and fight the fires for us instead of just asking about them. You know? I never liked you. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. Are you excited for Dumbo? You can subscribe to The Reject Nation. Click that notification bell. And check us out on so much stuff. Bye-bye.